The architecture was rather basic, but the hut of the southern forest people of Cameroon seemed well adapted to the needs of its occupants. Its thatched roof and mud walls kept the house cool in the hot seasons, and the fireplace warmed up the house during cold days. The kitchen remained more or less the heart of the home. Okay, the little we can say is that this is the traditional house of the forest. I don't want to say from the Beti people, it is from the forest. Then the first very important place in this house is this part of the house where we can cook everything. And you know, during the little weather, that is like winter in the south, this is where everybody will go and try to fight the cold. And I can say the real important place is this part of the house where we can keep our foods plus this part. We can, already, uh, 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 we can even keep everything here. Then I can say lives comes from here because life is part of what you can eat. The little you can eat, it is from here. The men did not only have the pleasure in a largely male-dominated culture of watching their women cook, but they also hunted and tapped palm wine. The second part is where the men are sitting, plus the guests waiting for the meal. And the third place, the, per the third place is where you can have something to drink. The little you can have to drink is first need water. After water, we can have palm wine. Then that are the very, the, 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 the very important parts of the, the house of the South. They'll say when you can cook the meal, when you can eat it, and when you can have a drink. And now when you go outside, there is another part where people are playing traditional games. That is basically what you can meet when you go in the traditional house of the South. Their hunting trophies like the head of a chimpanzee or the horn of an antelope were often proudly exhibited. This replica of a southerner's hut revealed a curious balance between tradition and European influence with its bamboo beds, baskets, barns and the more western shaving blade, lamp and phonogram. Outside, the sandy beach of Kribi where the south kisses the Atlantic sums up in one place the mode de vie of Cameroon's forest people.